bunch of demos on the thing. Um, you're taking forever Dang, to make your deck. Time. You've got a lot uh -huh. of I do have a lot of complaints because you're taking forever. There we go. My first turn, I could do nothing. Checkmate. All right. Next turn, I will do something. Yeah! So I just sacrificed two squirrels to play a direwolf puppy, and if the puppy survives long enough, it'll become a big, scary direwolf, which wow, would be I cool. Wow, I can't do shit. Nice. That makes me happy. Oh, I'm sure. I'm very pleased. All right. Ding, ding, ding! Now I have this big, scary direwolf, who is a badass. Aw. Um. And he gets to do, this little sigil here means that he gets to do two attacks. I think he's the only card like that that gets to do two attacks every turn. Oh, I see. Suggestion box. All right, I'm just experimenting with various buttons I have. Is it my turn? Sorry. Whoops. Yeah. Okay. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. All right, so I'm going to sacrifice some more squirrelies. Squirrelig boys. Nice. So again, it's done a pretty good job so far of holding off my dire wolf. Let's see what he does this turn, if he's able to keep him from doing as much damage as he can do. Playing the skeleton there was smart because the skeleton get, get smacked twice. You know, kind of like sacrificing the skeleton. Um, and now he's gonna have me break this guy open and give him bones. All right, I can't do much. There we go. I, sn I managed to tip the scale enough to snuff out one of his candles, so Ganon just lost a life. And let's see what he's going to do this turn. Nice. He's got a sarcophagus waiting to erupt. Um. Mm -mm, okay. Ah! But I won before anything could happen. All right, rematch. So that was a lot of luck. That was a lot of luck because it didn't have a whole lot of things that he could actually play. While my dire wolf came into the game fairly early which um, doesn't always happen. Oh, nice. Ding, ding, ding. So I was able to tip the scales back and now I've got two pretty good cards on the field. Let's see, let's see what uh, Ganda does to either get rid of my wolf cub or my mantis. Perhaps he's got something else entirely in mind. Now his opossum is going to kill my mantis, but that allows my wolf to become a big wolf. Um, okay, we're just going to have my wolf do his thing for a sec. I am going to get smacked by this possum. Um, when characters die, they give you a bone. And you could use bones also to summon characters. You don't always have to do sacrifices. Ding, ding, ding. All right, so we just tip the scales again and snuffed a candle on Genna. We're going to see what he does on his side. The squirrel is purely there to take a hit for me. <laughs> so the opossum can't eat me. But that ends up being kind of silly because, yeah, you just sacrificed that. That's fine. All right. Um, I am going to, let's see, take that guy and put out a coyote. And that coyote is going to eat his wolf. So that coyote with bones. Oh, now I just have a sad, scared squirrel on the board. Like, I can't do shit. But luckily that squirrel did not have to die tonight. Um... I am going to kill it now in order to summon this snaky boy. Fuck. And now we've got one more hit. Gonna needs to block both of these 
Either block or kill both of these characters. Oh, Genna brought in a... I thought we weren't playing with robots. I thought we were playing with blood goats on Yuri <laughs> You brought in robots because you're mad. I said no about the goats. Right. In fucking credible. Okay, well, ding, ding, ding. So now we're back down to one. Let's see if Genna summons another fucking robot. Your cells recharge that fast? That's amazing. We've not played at all with the robots, so I don't understand how they work, really. Because um, Genna said we were going to wait. That we were waiting for marriage to play with the robots. <laughs> no. But um, Genna's mad about the blood goats. I will be interested to see how the robots work. Okay. So Genna did that. Oh, yes. But I am going to do this. And that's going to kill his alpha and him. Fuck. Okay, you want to play again? Yeah, sure. Okay, we're going to do another rematch with this. Let's see how this one goes. Um, I can't do shit this first turn because you can't draw from your deck. Can't draw... Oh, phone's on low battery mode. That's all right. It can't draw from your, the deck. But Genna can't do anything on his turn either. So that's cool. So I'm going to do this and cause some damage with my wolf. Make sure that you smash that follow button and yell with us. Let's see. Ah, but then he brings out his sneaky boy, which is always upsetting. Um, poop. All right, ring, ding, ding, ding. I'm going to get bit by the snake, which is unfortunate. I'm now realizing maybe something else that I wish I'd done. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Ding, ding, ding. So now I have sacrificed the squirrel to get eaten by the snake. Okay. Alrighty. Which means, fear the cockroach. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Gonna hates the cockroach. It's extremely annoying because anytime the cockroach dies, it just goes right back to my hand. Because, you know, you just can't get rid of cockroaches. Oh, which is really fun. Okay, just sacrifice those to play something else entirely. Damn. All right. Ooh, and I got a good smackaroonie from that one. Um, trying to think this through. Okay, I think I don't. I think I've got to do what I'm about to do, which is sacrifice my mole semen. But, I mean, not so much sacrifice. Like, it's his job. He, like, burrows around and jumps in front if anybody tries to smack Rooney me. Um, the Mummy Lord has been summoned, which is going to kill my cockroach. But, as we know, the cockroach returns! Ding, ding, ding! Oh, and my mole semen just killed a wolf! Good job, buddy! I'm proud of you. Huh? Stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good for him, you know. The Grave Digger is going to gather Genna bones all the time. My Mole Seaman also just took a hit for me because he is MVP. Um, and we're going to do this. Sacrifice these guys so that we can bring out a Pronghorn. And also, guess what, folks? It's your favorite. Return of the Cockroach! So that gets rid of his big scary mummy lord and the cockroach is back, which really is just to annoy Genna. But we're still pretty neck and neck here. We keep kind of bouncing back and forth. Genna just got a bone from his grave digger. Um, but also the good thing about the pronghorn being there until he shifts his spot is um, he's not going to hit the skeleton ice cube. 
which is this guy that drives. Oh, it's my turn, and I'm just sitting here talking like an asshole. Okay, ding, ding, ding. Sorry about that, I didn't realize it was my turn. Okay, we are now at exactly even again, which is amazing. Let's see. Let's see what Gen does. This could be the play that makes the game, folks. I'm trying with my narration not to reveal too much of my strategy because Genna is sitting. At, you can probably see him. Maybe. Maybe my head's in the way. He is in the back of the room currently. I even see him in the mirror. All right. So. We've got that alpha. We're just going to do things. And I'm going to let my, my guys do stuff here, I think. Ding, ding, ding. Which I think is fine. Let's see what we get next. The Alpha is a cool card. I also like including it in my deck because if there was any other cards directly next to the Alpha, it gives them like points, which I think is really cool. Um, okay. So I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna sacrifice my cockroach, but it brings him back to my hand. And I'm gonna put my fox here. And ding, ding, ding. Maybe I should have put the fox. The cool thing about the fox is anytime that it attacks the other person directly, it gives me a squirrel, which is pretty fucking neat. Um, I like that. So the skeleton is activated. That's not a big concern, except it does mean, again, it could possibly use it to summon another card. Because it counts as like a little blood, a low blood guy, I think. But we shall see. I like how spooky the skeleton looks. I really like the art of this game, like the pixel stuff. It's like really cool. Um, the only thing that tells you when it's your turn is that it gets like lighter. And obviously it stops saying waiting for opponent in the bottom, in the top left, which you guys can't see because there's stuff covering it up. But I often do not at all notice that it got lighter. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how this goes. We've been pretty kind of neck and neck for this one. We're playing through a lot of cards um, without too much. Like, I mean, no one's lost a candle yet, so everyone's still got their lives. Genna is really thinking hard about this turn. Mm -hmm. I am. Really thinking. Right. Really yeah. considering all the options. I'm definitely not rushing him or asking him to hurry up. Cause that would be rude. That would be quite rude. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you wouldn't do a thing like that. I would not dare. Yeah. No, I hate Infinity Cat. Infinity Cat can be sacrificed an infinite number of times. But I think it's okay, because after this turn, my Pronghorn will move to the right. And that'll be fine. Um, okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. Ding, ding, ding. So that snuffed one again as candles, but the game is not over yet, folks. We gotta see what happens here. My pronghorn all we'll do next turn is kill and fin a cat. Um, my coyote will attack. Ah, oh, but it does mean that my fox will have to kill the broken oval and he'll have lots of bones. Okay, let's see what he's summoning here. He's got a squirrely guy out there. Oh, oh, yep, summon a dire wolf. This can be the real game changer, folks. This guy is a big boy. He can do a lot of damage. For instance, he's gonna kill my pronghorn. Which is unfortunate. Uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now, I hope that was not dumb. <laughs> we shall find out if it was dumb. Oh, maybe it was dumb. Yeah. Long Elk is poisonous. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. Um. For you. Yeah, for me. Okay, I'm gonna play this Bloodhound. And also everybody's favorite, the Cockroach. The cool thing about the Bloodhound is it will jump in front of things trying to hit me. It will, it does mean it is going to like die this turn, but. Oh, I guess it does that next time. Oh no, when a card is played, it jumps in front of them. I'm a dummy. Learn the rules. I, <laughs> you say learn the rules? Yeah. You're mean. I'm doing my best. Okay, um, I've got to do something that I don't super want to do. But I've really got to get rid of this dire wolf, so I'm going to play my snakey snake. Now again, me and Gen are pretty much tied. Um, he's got that wolf out there, which is a really strong card. And he's put a squirrel out there to block my adder, which kind of sucks. Oh. I think I lose. I think after all that, this means I lose because I could not block the wolf. Again, it's going to bring out a mantis just to fuck with me. Rematch! Uh, I'm going to go to oh. quit, and please don't leave the lobby. 